What's up guys? Long time no see. Uh, I've decided to go on a little adventure today. So we're at the Deep Creek Trail right now and uh, we're about to head down into the abyss here. Um, we're doing pretty much a straight shot for this trip as well. We wanted to come up the mountain from Smokemont. Um, it's right near Cherokee and we wanted to kind of continue exploring on towards Klingman's Dome and so here we are we're literally just taking the first steps here uh, I'm sure that uh, this will be an exciting one for y'all to look at here so without further ado let's get started this is already really pretty through here guys I'm glad I picked this trail. I mean, we're just pretty much like a hundred yards in at this point. Gorgeous day. I couldn't have picked a better day or set of days to do this, I feel like. It's just pretty, really pretty out today. And it's just the right temperature too. It'll be good sleeping weather tonight. And uh, I got a new sleeping bag to try out. So I'm gonna be really interested to try it out and uh, Give my personal little review on that and uh, she's got a sleeping bag liner that she's going to try out tonight too um, because she gets a little cold so we will be excited to test out a little bit of new gear and uh, see how it goes so um, we're just going to keep dragging along pretty cool out here i'm always glad to get out here i really want to get out more uh, we just haven't had time. I've actually been doing a lot of work on the house lately too that I haven't really been videoing and um, just for because I've kind of got like a little tired of making videos every day uh, it got in the way of the work a little bit but not too much but I just kind of like got tired of it for a sec but I'm back and uh, doing a whole new segment of backpacking here so I hope you'll enjoy it taking a little bit more footage of this beautiful scenery as we head down into the woods, into the forest. We've tried uh, to devise a better meal plan as well uh, for this trip. Um, we went to the grocery store, we didn't get the bag meals like we usually do for camping. We're trying to save and cut costs here and also save room in our packs because those uh, meals, they, they take up a lot of space. They're just bulky and you can't take a lot of them uh, without divvying them up but this way um, in general you can basically put one person with a couple meals a piece and then the other person can just carry the remainder. But like the others, like definitely with me carrying most of the stuff that we're gonna be setting up, uh, I had to have her carry most of it. And that was just a little awkward for both of us because that means that she couldn't bring as much, but like, you know, I had to bring the stuff that I needed because it's just necessary for both of us the tent and uh, you know the stove and a uh, water filter and like all that stuff it kind of just adds up in a little bulk uh, throughout the pack but for some reason we've got a bunch of space this time in both packs and we're sitting here scratching our heads on what we forgot and I guess we'll find out or not hopefully not <laughs> but uh, it should be interesting either way to figure that one out, I'm sure. Uh, I definitely didn't forget the tent, and I definitely didn't forget my sleeping bag. So those are the crucial things other than, you know, the stove and the pot, which uh, I made sure I packed. So we will see. But yeah, I'll give you a little update here in a few minutes. See ya! It's so pretty. 
Random little babbling brook. She left me. I gotta catch up. She told me right now it stops. <laughs> Oh, here's my wife. You left me. <laughs> You're funny. I'll catch up. Don't worry about poor old Scott. <laughs> we're just talking about what we're going to name our trail names because, you know, every good hiker needs a trail name and mine is Okuna Lefty Wigwam. She hasn't decided on hers yet though, so only time will tell what her name will be. We were talking about uh, one of these big YouTubers though, uh, Darwin on the trail. I'm not sure if you've heard of him, but he's a very big hiker and He's done super cool hikes, like all over the world. And I think he's gonna go to South A uh, this next summer, or he was at least planning to before COVID hit. And um, he redid the AT uh, not too long ago, I think. And uh, he's definitely done the PCT, Pacific Continental Trail out west. But yeah, he's really cool. If you haven't looked at his stuff, type in Darwin on the trail. And he's got really good content. That's kind of who I uh, got inspired by to do hikes when I first kind of started up doing YouTube a while ago. And then it kind of just transitioned into the house stuff naturally, but I like this stuff better personally. I think it's more wholesome. You know, I love house stuff, but uh, I've just been doing it too long, I guess. And the content just didn't really seem exciting to create all the time. But, I mean, it's just so beautiful out here. How could you not videotape this experience just while you're enjoying it? I mean, it's so easy just to do that. I mean, buy a little GoPro, have a computer and some software to edit it on, throw some music in. And you got a YouTube channel, so not hard at all. I actually encourage you to do that because I like watching content on YouTube and uh, I just think it's really neat to share experiences with people. Especially if you're not able to do this kind of thing, you know, like if you have physical, uh, you know, deficits or injuries that prevent you from doing the things that you love. You can live vicariously through other people's videos and uh, enjoy it along with them as they take you on the journey. I just think it's something magical about this time period of technology where everyone can share their experience with each other from all over the world. And you don't even have to be there. You just have to have an internet connection. That's one of the things that I like about the internet. And believe me, there's many things that I don't like about the internet, of course. But that's one positive. Anyways, I will update you with her trail name soon. Hopefully she can come up with one. Otherwise, I will dub her one. <laughs> so be ready. <laughs> She's still deciding on her trail name, but just had to capture her and myself going across this little brook that we've been discussing. Basically just been following it, now we're crossing it, finally. Well, we crossed over it back there, but it wasn't really much fun. Not like here. Let's see if she can get across without eating it. 
<laughs> Come on, we're waiting. <laughs> They had sticks. You want me to get across and help you? Yeah, mine aren't. Mine are not water resistant. They're lit top. She's got the high top water resistant ones. You shouldn't be scared. It's not that deep. Just don't step anywhere that you're gonna slip and eat it. There you go. I can get across. Safe. Today is perfect. I'm just now starting to get like a little warm. I just got some new trail pants, hiking pants. They're really cool. And they're actually called cool pants. K-U-H-L and they're the company known for like rock climbing enthusiasts and hiking uh, enthusiasts and just general outdoor kind of wear. So these are abrasion resistant pants and my favorite word of the month, gusseted. They got a gusseted crotch. So. I don't know what that means. I haven't looked up the definition, but I just like saying it. But they are stretchy. They've got a lot of stretch, so maybe gusseted means... A gusset means stretch. Or breathing room for your derriers. This got interesting real fast. The trail is seemingly turned into a river. Someone did slip right there. <laughs> Oops. That's really pretty. You know what would be a nightmare? Coming through this while, like, right after it rained really hard. That'd be crazy. Since I don't have waterproof shoes, I'm gonna have to go on this other side. Yeah. Some type of track right there. Looks like a deer. Once again, we've come to a trail that is watery. This one's wider. It's pretty interesting though. I feel like I can make that jump. I'm sure I'll be filming sometime and I'll just bust it. Where does it get from here? That way. Thought we might have to cross over that. I'm just like, well, I'm getting wet. <laughs> no, I dry out. Like, I just roll up my pants.
crossing a river years ago uh, with my scout troop. I was in the Boy Scouts. I'm an Eagle Scout now. But uh, I was crossing one of, uh, like a knee height river and there's things to step on, you know, so you wouldn't get wet. But uh, I made the fatal mistake of choosing the one twig that could not hold my weight. Even though I was really skinny back then and I didn't weigh much of anything, still couldn't hold me. And down I went. Like, totally submerged my pack. Just couldn't get up for a minute, so I mean, like, I got full weight. And fortunately, it wasn't freezing outside, but it was definitely cooler. And so, safe to say that my tent buddy that night didn't want to tent with me anymore. <laughs> and my tent was just miserable the whole night, and I couldn't get dry, so I was. A good reminder that nature sucks sometimes, <laughs> and my balance sucks even more. But uh, just thought that was funny. Had to share that with y'all. I don't know if y'all could see that, but that's what it turned into—just a big river. It's awesome. little cascade down there. We're making our way. We just had a snack. Just kind of stopped for a minute. Didn't sit down or anything, but just uh, stood up and had a, a bar and some crackers real quick and some water. We're heading on. It's been a very interesting hike so far. One of my favorites in a while. So we've come to this spot and as far as we're aware there's no marker and that's kind of what you'll find some places on the AT is just not clearly marked or marked at all for that matter. Thankfully we saw this one. I don't know how many we've passed. Uh, I've been trying to keep an eye out though. I feel like this is one of the only ones in the area Gotta yeah, check my map. You can also check my map just to see if it's right next to a water source like this to kind of clearly identify if this is the campsite that we are supposed to be at. So I'm gonna have to do that in a second. But just wanted to show you this. Very beautiful. So cool. So this is indeed the campsite that we're supposed to be at. I checked the map and it's right along a water source. So it's a pretty campsite. Pretty pleased with it. It didn't feel like we were hiking that long. I mean, there's nothing shorter. Just ran into a spider web. This is beautiful though. <laughs> do, you, do you feel the water? It's cold. It's cold, ladies and gentlemen. Slide on that rock though. You sure could. After you. Crystal clear water. Nothing like it. I planned this trip in like 30 minutes, so very happy with my choice. I think we should definitely come back here at some point and go further for sure. Uh, especially if it's just beautiful like this out. 
Um, I could definitely hike longer. But this is the campsite that we reserved. I always pay for my campsite. Try to uh, help out the forest organizations and everything as much as we can. So, you know, just making my contribution to keeping this area just as pristine and clear and just nature-y as we can. So, this is a good spot. I don't, I haven't seen uh, any kind of human waste or anything like that along the trail as we've been coming, which really bothers me sometimes when I'm walking and I just see a bunch of trash that someone was too lazy to pack out or hike out with. I mean, it's just unacceptable when you see that kind of stuff and it just makes the experience so much more miserable for the next person. But seeing it pristine and stuff like this is just a real joy. So. I'm loving this. So there you have it. I'll update you in a little bit when we get stuff set up and, uh, you know, just hang out and relax. That's what camping's all about, backpacking, so. So we've made it a little home for ourselves over here. And uh, just kind of getting stuff set up. Uh, looks like someone's been so kind to us to give us some uh, kindling and smaller sticks so we can have a fire and then some bigger ones if we want a bigger fire. But kind of like a makeshift uh, fire pit right here. I thought that was really cool when we came in just to have that organic kind of fire pit or anything. But um, obviously we'll be moving the tent and just pulling it off of the pegs, the tent stakes and just moving it back so we don't burn our tent, our shelter for the night. Uh, got our bear bag hung up over there, nice and secure. I slung it with a carabiner over with some cordage and uh, pulled it up with pulley action over there. And so we're just enjoying ourselves right now and um, might take a little bit of a hike further in just to see what was over there. Um, there's another campsite like 3.6 miles on the map from us. So that was interesting. I was wanting to uh, adventure further but she was a little bit tired and didn't want to, which is fun. I'm fine with this campsite. It's beautiful out here. So just like a little kind of secluded area right here. We found like a really old coin uh, a little while ago that's got like all the markings basically just etched off of it from wear and tear. It's very thin too. And then we found like a penny. It might be a penny too, but it's very hard to tell at this point. It's just so corroded and everything. Uh, it is green though, so that would indicate that it's a penny as well. We might do some, a little service out here with the machete that I just got my wife um, just to clean up some uh, debris and uh, plant life that's blocking the path down there. Uh, just kind of keeping this area pristine and the markers uh, for getting to the water kind of well lit up and everything well marked but um this is a badass machete right here she's been wanting one for a while but uh it's got a hook on it so you can shave uh kindling smaller sticks and everything to get a fire going and just wicked sharp we sharpened it. I showed her how to sharpen it before we came out here a few days ago. Uh, after I gave it to her, we just kind of messed around with it in our backyard. But um, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. It's got a little strap to it and its own sheath. 
came with a sharpening stand as well, which is very useful for both machetes and axes. So, yeah, I think this will do the job <laughs> to clear out this light brush here. It'll be fun just while we're out here. Something to do. But, uh, yeah. She's enjoying herself. I guess I'm gonna get back to it and uh, go on that little hike with her and just kind of chill out, you know, have some dinner later. Can't fire for sure. It's dry enough this time out uh, here. The wood and stuff that someone's left us is very dry, so easy no-brainer. It's a fire tonight. So I hope y'all are doing well and uh, hope y'all are having a good evening too. Peace. We went on a little hike and came to this. Thought I would show y'all this. Just a continuation of the water source that we've been following all the way, so. You know, if we hiked fast enough, we would see the same water going down. Here we have my lovely wife with a big knife. <laughs> she got her machete out and she shaved me some kindling off right there. Got some of the bark off of this big old stick. And I've just made a classic teepee for our fire, so. Not bad little fire set up, so. And I'm just gonna put this extra kindling. I've already got some in there right now. But just to ensure that we get a fire on our first pool, just had to take an extra moment to get a little bit extra kindling. So, we should be good to go. We got the tent moved back a little bit so the flames don't get to it. Hopefully no embers come through my tent. I'll be very sad. But you know, easy come, easy go. But I hope not. <laughs> it's getting about nighttime though, as you can see. Um, I had to turn my ISO up on the GoPro, so it still looks a little bit light to y'all. But uh, it is getting darker. Not as much sun, so. Sun's almost gone, actually. The last of it's over there. Just shining above, if y'all can see that. So, I got a little bit cooler too, so I just put on my light hoodie. Um, I'm warm now. She should be warm. If she needs to, she'll just put on some pants, pantaloons. Should be good for the night, so. Uh, yeah, so. Just giving y'all a quick, quick update. Uh, we're just chilling. Probably about to cook dinner here soon, and, uh, we just got the fire set up, so we wouldn't have to go scrounging around for wood at night and stuff like that, so. Uh, probably gonna chop some wood here. It looks like she wants to chop some wood and kind of get some experience with her new shetty. So, uh, we will see. Just to make sure this thing is still sharp, <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut this. Wow! Oh yeah, it's sharp. <laughs> you just made me look so bad. <laughs> halfway rotten. Yeah, it looks like it's rotten. Boy! Now I know why there's not a blade right there. Because if you accidentally go too far and hit the ground, it's just gonna hit that. So, it's actually not bad. Yeah.
bigger one. <laughs> Hmm. You might have to notch it. Whoa. Nice. That's annoying. <laughs> We're just having a campfire outside, guys. Took us a minute to get it started. I thought there was dry wood around here. Oh, it was piled up right next to us, but um, turned out to be pretty damp. So, had a little bit of difficulty getting the fire going, but it's going pretty good now. So, we're just chilling. We had dinner and it was good, so we're full. Just trying to keep this fire lit right now. Hopefully it's hot enough so we can get some of this bigger stuff lit. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to dry stuff out, so. She's doing a pretty good job feeding it leaves as a treat. <laughs> so yeah, keeping it just calm and relaxed out here. So catch you later. Good morning guys, it is the next day, uh, we settled in last night and got comfy and uh, the sleeping bags worked out really well. Uh, as I told y'all in a previous video and also at the beginning of this one, uh, me and my wife we got uh, some sleeping gear, some new sleeping gear and uh, I got a sleeping bag and she got a sleeping bag liner. So. Both of those were really warm last night. Um, I did not have any trouble whatsoever being warm and keeping warm. She didn't either. And so I, I call that here a success. So that's a good news. Um, woke up a couple of times just because my hips started to hurt. Uh, just on these mats. Um, you know, they definitely help, but there's nothing like an actual kind of mattress or whatever that you can get and I guess I'm just not ready to spend like $200 on an air mattress yet. Plus the potential for it to puncture if you set it on any kind of like rough surfaces or sharp jagged edges. Um, just never really been like too thrilled to spend money like that on something that's going to break eventually. So. I might in the future, but for right now, I think I'm just going to keep it simple with the mat. Um, I know a lot of big hikers do have those and like they really advocate for them, but you know, they probably have more money than I do at this point and if one breaks then they're able to replace it pretty easily. And I'd probably have to wait or just like, you know, save up to get one period anyways right now uh, with everything going on at the house and just uh, the way that we're structured, structured economically right now. So I'm fine with that though. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's another beautiful day again. It's amazing. We just had breakfast and we're just kind of packing up camp, getting ready to head out. Gonna kind of chill out for a few minutes and um, just enjoy the beautiful scenery before we start heading back so that's my little update for y'all I will catch up with you back on the trip and we're on the road again folks took some time to just chill out by that little water cascade and I found a few rocks and now we're on our way
Ready. Just wanted to take a second to appreciate this tree. This thing is crazy. It's like all routed out from the inside. Way up in there. I've noticed that a lot of trees out here actually felled. Um, I don't know if you picked up on that in any of the video, but a lot of them are like bigger trees. I just wonder if there's some type of uh, parasite fungus that's eating the inside of them that's causing that, or if it's just simply because uh, competing for space and root systems die out and then they die. But a lot of these trees definitely have stuff covering them. Like that moss, moss on that little tree. But yeah, just something interesting that I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, it looks like storm damage or something. It pretty much just broke. That one's got moss on it though, over there. Little mushrooms growing on this one. Come to the dreaded one tree crossing. Can she do it? She got this. Watch the finesse. The agility. The composure. Just some more examples of felled trees. All over the place. Crazy. This one's been cut. I'm sure there's a bunch of brush work to do every year. So, I'm sure a lot of these have been cut, but some of them just don't look like they have them. That oh, one's wicked looking. It's like a spiral. So you might be wondering why my wife hasn't gotten her trail name yet, but she just created one. So on her way back finally. Tell them your name. Dandy. She is Dandy and all is well in the world. <laughs> We're on the home stretch. It's pretty much been mostly uphill. Definitely steeper than what you see right now. My thighs are burning. But we're doing it. We're making it. Almost back. You can hear the car is real new. That was a workout right there. For sure. I knew we were gonna pay for it coming back today. Just because most of this was downhill. That was worth it though. It was really fun. Definitely come back here again.
feel the burn. There's the road. Voila. Mission completed. Ooh, we can see the road. Is that a little challenging? <laughs> that was a good workout. There she is. Wanna do that on me? Very proud of her. That was one of her first more challenging hikes that we've done back. She did great. I hate this shit. Why do people just litter like that? Do you have something? What about that bottle? Stuff it in the bottle. On your back tire. That does it. Ah. Go ahead. Let's do this. Or we can just put it in that cup if I can get down to it. Understand what part of leave no trace people don't understand. Don't touch your face or anything before you sanitize your hands real good. Nasty. This way. Hopefully. 
<laughs> Asir. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a small sliver of what's out there. I plan to cover this whole area eventually. And she's gonna be right there with me. Hating every second of uphill. <laughs> just like me. Creek Trip. Me, thank you for uh, tuning in to watch this, and uh, I hope that I made a good video for y'all. Uh, and I uh, hope this inspires you to get outdoors and go have some adventures of your own, of course. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. I really love this one, and uh, it's just quite rewarding to me to be able to do this and say that I did it and to be able to do it with someone that's my best friend. So uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit like and subscribe uh, if you don't mind, if you liked it. And if you want to see more content like this, I uh, hope y'all are staying safe and uh, don't forget to leave no trace. Thanks.